Hey there, welcome back to Cosmopolitan Cornbread. My name is Constance and I am a food writer. I have been a blogger and food writer for many, many years. And I've been published both digitally, of course, as well as in print, in magazines, newspapers, etc. And today I just want to share a very simple tutorial with you, and that is how to dice a bell pepper. Now, if you are a seasoned cook, I know you already know how to dice a bell pepper, but this video is for those of you who are new to cooking, or maybe you don't feel very confident in your skills, and so this is just a tutorial to show you how I dice my bell peppers and just to make things a little bit easier in the kitchen for all of you. So to begin with, you will need a cutting board and you'll need a good sharp knife. You can use whatever knife you are comfortable using. However, it should be a smooth bladed knife and not a serrated knife. Serrated knives are for sawing, not for cutting and slicing and dicing. So let's get started. First of all, I want you to take a look at the pepper. You will notice that bell peppers generally have sort of flat sides. And so we're going to make those sides work for us. This particular pepper has four sides. It's kind of square in shape. And so we will be using these four sides to make dicing the pepper a little bit more easy. Look down at the pepper and notice where those flat sides are. That is where you're going to make your initial cuts. Is you're going to slice off the sides. So I'm going to start right at the top and I'm just going to take my knife right down the side. Now I'm going to turn the pepper and I'm going to take off the next side of the pepper. And do this all the way around. Whether you have a pepper that's kind of square or one that's sort of triangle and sometimes you'll even see five-sided ones out there. Whichever you have, you just want to look at where those flat-ish sides are and you want to take those off. Next, I'm going to lay it on the side. I'm going to take off the bottom. Now this part here, this is the rind on the inside. This really has no flavor and it's also got all of the seeds in there. So you don't need to do anything with this. You can just go ahead and toss it in your compost bin. All right, so I am going to take a look at my peppers. I have a couple seeds in this part here, so I'm gonna tap it into my trash bowl. All right, now, some of these sides have a good bit of this white rind inside. I'm just gonna take my knife, and move these out of the way here, and just very carefully Go down there and remove that. Again, that doesn't really have any flavor to it, so if you have a lot on one of your pieces, just go ahead and shave that out with your knife. Alright, so now you can see we're basically working with flat pepper sides. So I'm going to take the first side, and I'm going to take my knife, and I'm going to cut it into strips. Now, if you want, you can chop straight down into it. However, peppers can be kind of juicy. And seeing as I wear contacts, I try to be very careful about that. I have had hot pepper juice squirt into my eye before, and that's not a risk I wish to take. So now that we have our pepper side cut into strips, we're just gonna take those strips, put them side by side, Hold them together and then take our knife in a rocking motion and cut those into pieces. Now depending upon how fine or coarse you need your pepper, you would do the strips more narrow together or the crossways cuts more narrow together if you need a very fine um, dice on your pepper. If you need it to be coarse, then of course you would do them further apart. 
take the two strips and put them side by side and cut straight across. Now this piece here, that center part, has a good bit of that rind on it, so I'm just going to take this slice and I'm going to cut that middle out and discard that. And again, you see how easily my knife goes right through this pepper. It's because my knife is good and sharp. If it was dull, you might struggle with the skin of the pepper. And then when you get to the bottom, you're going to do the exact same thing. Cut it into strips and then cut them crossways. And there you go. Perfectly diced chopped bell pepper. Now this method for dicing the bell pepper can pretty much be used with any type of pepper out there. You just want to cut down the sides, kind of create a sort of flat shape whenever possible, and then cut it into strips, and then cut across the strips. And I've done this with jalapenos, I've done it with cubanelles, I've done it with pretty much every kind of pepper out there. Now if you are dicing a hot pepper, you do want to wear gloves. I, I promise you, you don't want to risk it. Again, I wear contacts. The first time I diced jalapeno peppers, I didn't think it would be that big of a deal. And I was handling those peppers. I scrubbed my hands, I washed multiple times, I used a fingernail brush, the whole nine yards. And that evening when I went to get ready for bed, I took out my contacts and I did the first one and I knew I had made a mistake. And so anytime I dice or handle peppers that have any heat to them at all, I always wear gloves. Uh, it's just not worth the risk. So I hope you find this simple tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. And again, be sure to check out my blog, Cosmopolitan Cornbread, where you can find hundreds of home cooking recipes, as well as homesteading and natural living sorts of articles. And my second new blog, Wholesome Skillet, which has a focus on healthy, gluten-free natural recipes and if you want to see more make sure that you subscribe to the channel so thanks for joining me here again in the homestead kitchen and i will talk to you all next time